Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Snuggles and Storytime. My name is Amanda, and I'm so glad that I could see you today. Today, I have a special book. Today's book is about a little girl whose family celebrates two holidays in December. They celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas. So it's two different holidays. Hanukkah is a Jewish holiday and Christmas is a Christian holiday. And in her house, they celebrate both. Yeah, so we're gonna read it in just a moment. But before we get to our story, you know what we have to do. We have to sing hello. Please put your hands up so you can join me. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello, all my friends, how are you? Hello, all my friends, how are you? With a jiggle, 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 and a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hello, all my friends, how are you? Oh, it's a great story today. This story is going to be special because not everybody celebrates Hanukkah and not everybody celebrates Christmas and even less people celebrate both. So we're going to learn something about it today. Our story today is called Light the Lights and it's about a girl whose family celebrates Hanukkah and Christmas. It's written by Margaret Mormon. So let's learn about Hanukkah and Christmas, okay? It's called Light the Lights. Let's get started. It happened the same way every winter. When the world grew cold and afternoons became long before dinner time. One morning, Emily's father raised the shades in her room and said, Sweetheart, tonight is the first night of Hanukkah. Time to get out the menorah. After breakfast, Emma helped him take the old silver menorah out of the cabinet in the dining room. They unwrapped it carefully and they polished it with soft cloth and pink cream until it gleamed. That evening at sundown, Emma's father sang an ancient blessing and her mother steadied Emma's hand to help her pass the flame from the shamash, the working candle, to the first Hanukkah candle. Every night for a whole week and a day, they added another candle. Emma's father would say, let's light the lights. And the ceremony would begin. The menorah sat on the table in the window so that people could see as they rushed up and down the street to work and all the neighborhood up and down the street could even catch a glimpse of it. Some nights Emma watched until the candles burned down to the holder. Oh, look, here's another family with a menorah or a Hanukkah. So there's two people who are Jewish in that neighborhood. On the fourth night of Hanukkah, Uncle Ken and Aunt Betsy came to Emma's house with her cousins, Sam and Katie. There are strange lumps in my coat pocket, Uncle Ken complained. Emma and Sam reached in and pulled out pouches of Hanukkah gilt. Gilt is these coins that are chocolate on the inside, but covered with gold wrapping paper. Peeling back the wrappers, they found fat gold coins and inside was sweet milk chocolate. Kate was too little to play dreidel, but she liked to watch Sam and Emma spin the top. When it was time for dinner, Kate tasted her very first latkes, a crispy potato pancake made specially for Hanukkah. Grandma Rose came to celebrate the eighth night. She and Emma danced hand in hand. Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come light the menorah, they sang. At last, all the candles were lit 
and the full menorah looked so beautiful, reflecting on the dark pane in the window. Then, one day, Emma's mother pulled down a box of Christmas ornaments from the top shelf of the closet. Well, Pumpkin, she said, shall we pick out a Christmas tree this morning? Emma put on her jacket, boots, scarf, mittens, and went outside with her parents to search for the perfect tree. Last year, Emma had picked a short, fat, bushy one. This year, she picked a tall one with a branch at the very top that was skinny and straight, just right for the ornaments that Emma liked best, the fragile glass star. The tree was so heavy that Emma helped her mother and father carry it home. They all said Merry Christmas to their neighbor Anne and her fluffy dog who was wearing a new red jacket. He opened his present early, Anne said. After lunch, Emma's friend Natalie and Patrick came over to help trim the tree. Emma's mother set out cups of hot chocolate and and lots of candy, Christmas, oh goodness, and lots of Christmas cookies. They were gingerbread men, sugar cookies shaped like trees and reindeers, and little white powdery balls with nuts inside. Emma's father played the piano, and everyone sang songs. Emma knew all of them by heart, most of the words, even. When all the decorations were out of their boxes and on the tree, Emma's mother said, let's light the lights. And every bough sparkled with silvery tinsel and shiny balls. On Christmas Eve, while Emma was sleeping in the dark house, Santa Claus came quietly and left presents under the tree. He also turned on the lights for Christmas morning. How did he know that Emma would wake up before everybody else? After the holidays, Emma wrapped up the Hanukkah menorah and the Christmas ornaments and put them away for next year. But she remembered the bright winter lights on the dark winter nights for a long, long time. The end. So some people get to celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas, and they're pretty lucky. It's kind of fun to have traditions from more than one holiday. Very exciting. I hope you have a great day, my friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.